And now, America's favorite hunting couple, Ralph and Vicki Cianciarulo. Welcome to the Archer's Choice. This week, we're getting down on gobbling this down with Hoppy Kemper down what in Florida. What are you doing? You have your Maristep line set up in our basement in front of a stuffed turkey, and you're making calls. Well, yeah. I'm getting nervous, honey. The guys at HS, Realtree, said one thing we're lacking is we've got to get more into turkey hunting. So I thought the best way to do it is set up the blind. I put you're in the my, basement. one of my mounts. Look you're, you're in the basement, honey. <laughs> He's set up in the basement. Are you feeling okay? Honey, you've got to get into anything. It's like putting on your uniform before the game. It gets you psyched up. It gets you rolling. And I mean, I'm into it. I'm yeah, really okay. Into well, it. you know what? Let's get into Donna's hunt down there with Hoppy and Osceola Outfitters, and maybe you could feel better by the time we come back, okay? Oh, my gosh. I got in position, calm as a cucumber, and I missed that bird. See, it ain't that bad, Vic. I mean... Okay, I'm in a blind in my basement. Hey, don't worry about it. You're getting into it. Welcome yeah. back to the Archer's Choice. You know, Donna, you go, girl. She got feather fever. Yeah, that's okay, Donna. We all have that problem sometimes. Yeah, well, some of us have it m way more than others. You're right, you're right. Hey, you know what? Now we're going to go check out Hoppy and his, his turkey hunt. You know, Hoppy's that, well, let's just put it, he's that cutthroat type of guy. If one steps out, though, he's got all three of them in there.
Yes, yes, yes. Ralph. I'm not even going to say anything. <laughs> oh, I know what you were hoping for, but it didn't happen, did it, baby? And I didn't think so. Headshot. Actually, a little neck. <laughs> so what do you think, Sage? That's a nice one, isn't it? See the dark wings? What's that mean? Osceola. Osceola, that's right. Well, we've had a great season this year. We've had close to 30 hunters in uh, here on the ranch, and everybody uh, has had an opportunity to shoot a turkey. Uh, one guy went home this year without a bird. He missed two. But anyway, uh, we got out this afternoon. It's not my favorite time of the day to actually hunt here because the turkeys aren't usually gobbling. They're not usually strutting. It's a, it's a morning thing, really. Well, you ready to go? Yep. All right. You want to carry the bow or the turkey? <laughs> you got him or you need help? I got him. All right. Hey, great shot, Hoppy. And now, let's check out Ralph and see if Donna's feather fever is contagious. We're back with Hoppy Kempfer down in St. Cloud, Florida. It's spring, it's Osceola, it's me and my bow, and I'm sure hoping I don't have feather fever this time. I missed him. <laughs> oh no. I couldn't see him. Yeah, but I was just trying to get one done. I quit. I can't hit the things. I had it right here. Right there. Well, I guess. Feather fever is contagious, Ralph, hmm? Good things pigs can't fly.
Was that awesome or what? We are sitting in the middle of this field. We got the wind blowing this way, so we figured the hogs were gonna come out. We stuck a few palmetto leaves, and I'm wearing the, the, the ghillie suit from Rancho Safari in Realtree. He didn't have a clue. Beaming went right through, spitfire. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice, and as you saw, maybe feather fever, but hog heaven, baby. <laughs> we <laughs> pounded them. You know, we had no turkey drumsticks, but, but at least we have bacon. Yeah. Yeah, really cute. Well, let's go check uh, if feather fever sets in on anyone else we know. What you just saw was an amazing thing. We're here turkey hunting. It's starting to get dark. Most of the birds, that we had a bunch of hens come past, huh, Pat? Yeah, a bunch of them. And then I had the two gobblers, one giant one, but I had thought from where my angle was, I thought they saw something and was turning. So I was at full draw. I mean, I got drawn on them and everything. And the, the little lesser gobbler, which both were trophies, right. I mean, Good bird. yeah, Both. came in and, <laughs> as usual, feather fever. I pulled right here and it just went to the right of him. And then Pat goes, you know what, why don't we stay here? Because you could see all the rooting that's been going on. And yep. we're like, you think so? I mean, we, he goes, no, why don't we just sit for hogs? So we're going to set everybody up and Pat goes, pig, pig. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So right in the middle. I just saw my arrow. There it is. Boy, I think we're gonna get her pretty soon, Ralph. See? These palmetto leaves or something. Ma'am. Here, 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 yep. here. Hey, here. hey! <laughs> yeah, man! <laughs> All right. You didn't go far, did you? No, not at all. Oh, man. Boy. Nice hog. Whew. Yeah, buddy. Congratulations. This is uh It's a great eater. Yes, it is. We'll put that one on the smoker. Okay. <laughs> There's a good one. Everyone knows Ralph misses turkeys. Well, I missed a turkey. But really, I missed his whole Ralph wouldn't feel so left out. He missed one last night. That's not the true story, huh? Okay. I can literally say, oh, the wind was blowing my hair, my eyes. Because it does, see? The real story? is you missed. I missed. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I can see my arrow. It's just sitting out there. All by its lonesome. All by its lonesome. Shame, shame, shame. Yeah. She missed, she missed, she missed. Oh well, life goes on. Yeah. Do you feel more better? Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Well, Vic, feather fever. I can't believe it. It was awesome. You missed. I mean, I, know. I think it was so cool that you finally. I finally missed a turkey. I love After it. How it many was... times have I? I haven't missed many turkeys like you. 
So that's a good thing. Now, let's go into my hunt and see how I do when I actually get one. Huh? What do you think, huh? It's gotta be, it's gotta be upper 80 degrees out here. Humid as all get out. There's clouds in the sky. We're down here with Osceola Outfitters. I've had a rough week. We, it's actually, it's Easter day. And we, uh, I've missed twice already. Ralph's missed once. And I finally got a bird. Oh, thank good. And he didn't go very far. <laughs> We've been seeing them coming through this little drainage here every day. And we finally set up in the right spot. The other night, Ralph and I, we were set up in a different, just a little bit of a different angle. The birds didn't like it. I don't know if it's because they couldn't see through or what, but we got set up there that t this afternoon. And <laughs> like I said before, it's, it's like 80 something degrees outside. We're sweating our hineys off. And these three birds came in. They got nervous. They putted a couple times. We didn't move. We just hoped and prayed that they just calmed down. The one had a double beard. He went off. I said fine because he was the nervous one. These guys came in and the one gave me a shot. The shot was like 16 and a half yards and I just centered him. I mean he didn't go 10 yards from, wh from where I shot him. What a beautiful, beautiful bird. Wow. Hey Hoppy, see I can hit a bird just so you know. Thanks. Uh, you know, before we close this week's show, I think there's a little FYI we need to talk about. And FYI? That is, well, your feather fever friend, <laughs> Pat Marino, was filming me when my gobbler come in. I shot my gobbler. It was one shot. He didn't go nowhere. Potty bing. He's down. Do you have video footage to show? Wait, wait, wait. wait. Your, quote, feather fever guy, you know, is like uh, on the wrong bird. I don't believe you, you guys have I said, whole... are you on him? He said, yes, I'm on him. Boom, I yeah. finally made a perfect shot on that gobbler. Right, right, a perfect shot. We have no video footage. No one's ever going to believe you. Hey, remember, we want you to return next week, same time. Same channel. <laughs> right right here, here on the Archer's, on the Archer's Choice. Choice. He won't be here. <laughs>